Good morning, grade nine. Today we're gonna to talk about order of operation. Uh, you know, right away when we talk about order of operation, we uh, mentioned right away bed mass. Bed mass, it will show me the order uh, about how we can solve our uh, algebraic expression to find the solution. Uh, in this order, we're gonna see the B as bracket. So that means in any algebraic expression, I have to start with bracket first. Next, it's gonna be the exponent. Next, division and multiplication. And I'm gonna say that both of them, they have the same level. That means if I have, so I'm gonna say same, level. That means if I have a division and I have a multiplication, I can start with the one that is coming from left first, and after that, the one is coming into right second. The same thing for the addition and subtraction, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Both, they have the same level, but if I'm getting both of them in one algebraic expression, in this time, I'm gonna start from left, then end with the one in the right. So let's talk about this example. And you can see here, I have this algebraic expression, and let's say the question was solve. So how can I do it? Uh, first of all, since the bracket is the strongest thing that I have to start with, that means I have to start with working with this bracket. But inside this bracket, I have really many operation. I have subtraction, I have hidden multiplication, and I have a division. So I have to follow again the order of operation and to do it step by step. So that means 15, I open the bracket, and I'm gonna say I have 10 minus four times three divided by six. For sure, if I look to the schedule at the right side, I'm gonna see that the multiplication and the division are stronger than the subtraction. So that means I need to start with multiplication and subtraction. So for sure, we said from left to right. So if I see here, I will notice right away the multiplication is before the division because it came in the left side. So 10 minus four times three equal 12. And after that, I will do the division by six. So I'm gonna say equal 15, 10 minus 12 divided by six equal two. So the first one I did what? I did the multiplication. The second step, I did the division. And now I'm gonna finalize the bracket. So 15 times 10 minus two equal eight. So that means I finalized the bracket and actually bracket, it was the first thing that I'm working with. So here uh, we finalize the subtraction. Now I have only one operation left, which is a multiplication, eight times five equal 40. 8 times 1, 8 and 4, 12. And here I can multiply, I can write multiplication. So this is how it worked to find the 120. Let's do the second one. Uh, we'll see here, I have 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 open bracket 5 minus 1. So right away, since the bracket is the strongest one, I'm gonna start with the bracket. So it's gonna be 3, to the power of two plus two, and I finalize the bracket. The bracket saying five minus one, which means equal four. And I'm gonna say that I finalize the bracket first. Next, bed mass, the second one is the exponent. So three exponent two or power of two, that means nine plus two times four. So that means I work with the exponent as a second step. Next. I have how many operation? I have the addition and I have the multiplication. We said the multiplication is stronger than the addition. Bed mass 
M here, multiplication, then the A addition. So I have to work with the multiplication. That means 9 plus 2 times 4 equal 8. And I'm going to write that I work with multiplication. And after that, 9 plus 8 equals 17. That means I was working with the addition at the last step. So this is to show us the order of operation I have to respect. Bracket first, exponent, division and multiplication, the same level, addition and subtraction, the next level. Uh, if we talk about the um, division bar, this is maybe uh, it's uh, new for some student. This we call it division bar. Uh, the division bar give us the impression that I have a bracket on the top and I have a bracket on the bottom. Which means I have to deal with this bracket, I have to deal with this bracket, and after that I do the division of the division bar at the end. So let's deal with each bracket. I have 9 times 2 minus 12, so I have multiplication and I have subtraction. Who is stronger? For sure, the multiplication, it's before the subtraction. So that means I have to start with multiplication first. That means 2, nine, uh, two times 9 equals 18 minus 12. Perfect. Over. I have addition and I have division. For sure, the division is higher than the addition. That means it's going to be like 4 plus, I keep the plus as it is, 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Now, I need to continue. 18 minus 12 equals 6 to finalize the bracket. 4 plus 2 equals 6 to finalize the bracket. Now, I can use the division bar as 6 divided by 6 equals 1. So, imagine all the left side here, this algebraic expression equal to 1 when we solve it. Uh, let's see the second one. I have something like that, so I have to understand if I have a division bar. In this case, I will imagine that there is a bracket for the numerator and another bracket for the denominator. So now I'm going to work with each bracket. I have addition. I have multiplication. For sure, the multiplication is more powerful than the addition. That's why I'm going to say 6 plus 15. Next one, I have what? I have subtraction and I have the exponent. For sure, the exponent is stronger than the subtraction. Therefore, I'm going to say 19 minus, I keep the subtraction as this, and I deal with the exponent 4 times 4 equals 16. Now, I can finalize the bracket by saying 6 plus 15 equals 21 and 19 minus 16 equals 3. And now I can finalize with a division bar, which is, means a division. That means 21 divided by 7, uh, 21 divided by 3 equals 7. And this is going to be the final answer for this algebraic expression. I hope you understood this lesson, and thank you for listening.